Barnsley's attendance at Oakwell against Sheffield Wednesday on Tuesday could would be one of their biggest for years. I asked Michael Duff about the relationship with the fans. I think it's set up to be one of the biggest attendances here for, for quite a while, potentially. Anyway, I mean, that, that just adds something extra to it. And I guess from your perspective, it's great that you're getting such numbers. Yeah, I think it shows up the progress that's made with the football club. We talked about relationship building and, and bringing it all back together. And we all said it was going to take time. Well, I think the last two or three attendances of course, Sheffield Wednesday bring a lot. Derby brought a lot. Um, Plymouth brought a lot. But I think it shows that there's that connection, that sort of trust is starting to rebuild again. Um, and it was always going to take time. I think we've been in eight, nine, ten months of the season already. So it's it's just a sign of the progress of that. It doesn't guarantee results. It doesn't guarantee a good performance. But hopefully, there's a definite feel around the place now. There's a a connection between the supporters and, and, and the players that maybe wasn't there last year, I got told it wasn't there last mm. year because it was broken down. So part of the work this year has been building that and I think attendance is going upwards tells you that there's a trust coming back. Are you looking forward to that atmosphere as well, what you touched on, have you? Yeah, I've been here before when it's been bouncing mm. as a player and it was the work games earlier in the season, you know, the Accrington one stood out really because it was three and a half after 20 minutes and I know it was a cold day, but it just felt, oh, and it's it's hard to win again. But I think the supporters have recognised their, their significance now. They've got a role to play. I've said it all along. They've got a role to play. We might go one 0 two 0 down in the first ten minutes tomorrow. You know, support the team, and like I can say that all the time. At the end of the game, boom. If they're not very good, that's your thoughts. But to be fair to them, they've stayed. They've stepped up in the last since Christmas, really. The players have stepped up. And that's why the attendances are going up, but we've got to just keep pushing. Um, so on Saturday, Dublin was a big win at Wickham. Um, was that one that they could have lost last season? Yeah, I think so. Probably even earlier this season when they were still sort of gelling together and a little bit up and down. And, you know, there was a lot of togetherness. They didn't play well, as they've admitted, but sometimes it just as important as sort of comfortably beating Derby and Plymouth and Portsmouth. They're the games where you're not quite at your best against a difficult, direct opponent, just finding a way to to grind out a win and obviously the subs came on and made an impact and they defended well and the crowd got behind them and yeah, really important three points. So they're on a great run now, I'm sure the confidence is high for tomorrow night in South Yorkshire Derby. Yeah, I think so, and beating an 11, won nine in a row, great for, sorry, nine of those 11, won five in a row at home, just uh, yeah, flying at the moment and obviously Wednesday are on a great great run as well, but it should be a, should be a good game. And a big crowd, um, what are they on for at the minute? Yeah, 17,000? I think, I think even more than that, to be fair. I think they'll, uh, they'll probably um, 17, 18,000 might be the biggest since uh, Leeds at home, the 5 2 win in, 2000, in 2010, I think, which obviously we all remember fondly. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, it's been a long, t long time since they've reached that kind of number. So, it'll obviously be great um, for Barnsley fans to, to be there in that number. That, that's sort of what we're expecting. So, yeah, it'd be really good. And how how much of a role will that play potential on the game having that that amount of fans there? Yeah, I think it, it, the last few games the fans have really turned in Barnsley's favour. Michael Duff was speaking the, the pre-match press conference about a game against Accrington in January where they went three 0 up after twenty minutes and it was quite quiet. And there's still that sort of, at that point there was still that disconnect from last season. But I think that was the turning point. After that, it kind of spoke out in the media about wanting them to get on the side. They had that game against Cambridge where they got a man sent off and the fans got behind them. And then since then, we've had that, this run of big games and the atmosphere has been building. I think this will only take it to the next level. Obviously, Wednesday fans will want to sort of get behind their team as well. And it'll be a battle off the pitch and, and on the pitch, I suppose. Uh, Ted Itch, you got his first goal on Saturday. Uh, that presumably poses a little bit of a selection problem for Duff. I think so, yeah. I asked him in the pre-match press conference about is he just a sort of impact player off the bench and he said definitely not. He was starting before he got injured and he's an option to start again. There's obviously Max Waters who played at the weekend as well and Cole and Nord have sort of been the main strikers throughout the season. They might go back to them tomorrow night. We'll, we'll see. Obviously they both scored at Hillsborough earlier in the season so I'd be keen to do so again but yeah, there's sort of four decent options there now. Uh, a lot of hope that top two is still on. Does it kind of derail that if, if they lose tomorrow night? I think it would be a, a big dent in it. I mean, there's still 10 games to go, and if they win all or the majority of them, obviously tough ass, but they'd, they'd still be in contention for it. But yeah, it would, it would deflate things a, a bit if they lose. It kind of feels, I think I've mentioned it before, almost feels like in terms of the top two, Barnsley are like on a cup run at the moment. If they lose one, they'll get knocked out of it. Now, the consolation prize will be the, the playoffs, so maybe, maybe it's a bit 
um, you know, maybe there's a bit more of a long term way of thinking about it. But I do think a draw might be okay with a win. That would just kick them on so so much for this run and the games they've got coming up next. Any other team news for tomorrow? No, it should be the same. Robbie Cundy, I think, might be back on the bench, but I don't think he'll be in the in, in the starting eleven. He's, he's just coming back. It's more a case of match fitness for him. But yeah, the striker selection thing is the only real sort of question mark, really. I imagine the rest of the team will be the same. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Chronicles YouTube channel for more pre-match team news.